All right, this is a grade 5, module 2, lesson 27. We're going to be uh, dividing decimal dividends by two-digit numbers. And we're going to be using estimation, we're going to be using number sense, but really, we're really going to be using that standard algorithm. So this is kind of like the punchline of this entire module. And here we're going to divide and check. Now, first off, heads up here, a lot of students, when they see this division problem, they're going to try and write it like this, 6.5 into 13. And so heads up for you uh, that you got to point out to students that that is dead wrong. All right, so let's get rid of that and let's do our division. So this is going to be 6.5 goes here and the 13 goes here. And we're going to use estimation to figure out how many times does 13 go into what I'm going to think of as 65 tenths, because 13 does not go into 6. So I'm going to go to the next decimal place over, and I'm going to think of this as 65 tenths. A lot of students will start using shorthand and just say 13 goes into 65, but technically it's 65 tenths. Using estimation, I'm going to take 13, I'm going to round it down to, oh, let's call it 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, oops. At that point, I've crossed over the 65, the 65 tenths. So my estimation is going to be 6 for my quotient, right? So I'm going to put a 6 right here. And over here on scratch paper, I'm going to do 13 times 6 and I get 78. Oops, 78 is too much. So I'm going to erase the 6, and maybe we should try 5. So let's try 13 times 5. Ooh, I get 65 exactly. So I'm going to put a 5 right here, which is really 5 tenths, because 65 tenths divided by 13 is 5 tenths. Uh, shortcut is to just say, well, the decimal goes straight up, and that's true, too. And so we get 65, we subtract, we have no remainder, so our answer is 0 0.5, or 5 tenths. How do we check it? We multiply uh, 13 times 0 0.5, because that's the answer right here, 0 0.5. And... 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And then we don't need to multiply by anything else. We have one decimal place, so the answer is 6.5, and that's exactly what we have here. So we're pretty sure we did it right. Let's try a, a slightly more difficult problem. So we're going to do 132.16, and we're going to divide by 16. And uh, I think what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to round up to 20 for the 16, and I'm going to count by, uh, I'm going to do my skip counting. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, and I'm going to stop right there because I've crossed over the 132 that I was aiming for. And so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my guess is going to be 6. So 16 goes into 132, I'm guessing six times. So over here on scratch paper, let's multiply. Six times six is 36. Six times one is six, plus three more is nine. So that's good, I don't cross over the 132. So I can subtract 96. And we're going to see something kind of cool. This is a two, this is a one. So that's 12 minus six is really 6, and then 12 minus 9 is 3. So what that tells us is I could have gone in to 132 more than just 6 times. So I don't have to erase everything. I could just, let's just stay in this place value right here, and I can say, well, I can see that 16 times 2 is 32. So I could have gone in 2 more times. So I'm going to cross off this eight, 6 and write an 8. Because I'm going to go in and subtract out two more groups of 16. And so I'm going to subtract and I get 4 left over. 
and that's four whole numbers. I bring down the one, and this decimal goes straight here. So now I'm going to think of this as 41 tenths. And 41 tenths can be divided by 16, and I'm kind of learning my lesson. I'm going to go with 2. So I'm going to put a 2 right here, and we know that that multiplies to be 32, because it says so right here. We subtract, we get 9. So that's 9 tenths left over. Oops, I don't like where I put the 2. I'm going to erase that 2. I'm going to put the 2 right here. That's really the 2 tenths. And then I'm going to drop the 6. Now we have 96, but that's 96 hundredths. And lo and behold, I happen to know that 16 times 6 is 96. So I know I can put a 6 right here. That gives me a remainder of 0. So our answer is 8.26. We should check it. So the way we're going to check it is multiplying the quotient by the dividend. So our quotient is 8.26. We're going to multiply by 16, and we're going to hope that we get 132.16. All right, so let's do that. So 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 15. Carry the 1. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 1 is 49. And I'm going to put a 0 because I'm going to multiply by 10. And uh, so 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 8 is 8. And now we're free to add. And if I'm going a little fast, feel free to pause and rewind and do everything you need to. So I get 13,216, but I have to remember I had two decimal places, so my answer is going to be 132.16, and that's exactly what our original dividend was. So um, we know that our answer of 8.26 is probably correct. So we're going to practice with a word problem, and this will be the last problem of our video. A seamstress has a piece of cloth that is three yards long. She cuts it into shorter lengths of 16 inches each. How many of the shorter pieces can she cut? So the first thing we need to remember is we have three yards, okay? And each yard represents 36 inches. And so we should multiply 36 times 3 to figure out how many inches we have all together. And we have 108 inches all together. And now she's going to cut them into shorter segments of 16, 16, 16, etc. And we're going to figure out how many um, groups of 16, or how many lengths of 16 she can cut. And we're going to go dot, 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 and I'm going to put a big old question mark. So a nice way to do that is to take 108 and divide by 16. Now, I happen to remember from the last video that 16 times 6 was 96, and that's pretty darn close to 108 without going over, so it looks like we're going to try that one, so we're going to put the 6 right here, and 6 times 16, we already know, is 96. We're going to subtract, and that gives us, oh my goodness, that's a 0, that's a 9, that's a 1. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I didn't have to do any of that. <laughs> that's 108 minus 96. Oh my goodness, 108 minus 96. 108 minus 96. 8 minus 6 is 2. 10 minus 9 is 1. So we have 12 inches left over. So that's 16, I mean 6 times with 12 inches left over. So how many 16s can we fit in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. And I'm going to just estimate here. That's 16. And then we would have 12 inches left over, so we don't have quite enough to make another piece. And that is question three. So the answer is six lengths. And that's lesson 27. 
of Module 2 for fifth grade where we're really using that standard algorithm for division.